Hi, I'm Seth from Great Rivers Greenway. I'm not a scientist, but I like to play one in my backyard. Learn how you can get involved in citizen science in this episode of Conservation at Home. Even when sheltering in place, we can all still pitch in and do our fair share for conservation. And one fun way that you and your family can get involved in your backyard, in a local park, or along a greenway, or even out your back window, is through citizen science. What is citizen science? Well, to answer that question, I'm gonna turn things over to my coworker, Elizabeth. Citizen science is a way for non-professional scientists like you and me to collaborate with folks who are professional scientists to collect and analyze data related to the natural world. So anytime we record our observations of things like pollinators and insects or birds or life cycles of plants or the larger natural world around us, we can help advance scientific research and increase our own understanding of the topic. Now let's do some science, citizen science. So there are lots and lots of ways that you and your family can get involved in citizen science. And to help you get started, we've put together a list of citizen science initiatives on our website, tracking a wide array of things of interest to conservationists and scientists. You can pitch in and help them out by counting birds, tracking seasonal changes in plants and animals, taking pictures of bees, or even mapping squirrels. No matter which project you choose to participate in, you'll be helping conservationists expand their data sets and also further their understanding of the current state of the natural world. It's a tall task, but I think you're up to the challenge. So get out there with your family and get to sciencing. And if you have a citizen science project that you would like to share with us, send it our way and we'll be sure to add it to our list. This is just one way that you and your family can do your share for healthier habitats throughout the region. We'll have more shelter in place conservation tips for you in the next episode of Conservation at Home. Until next time, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you back on the Greenways real soon.